Well, what's going on, everybody? I wanted to give everybody a huge, excitingly cool update. I am finally done recording the CCMP RNS route exam course. For those of you that are studying the 300-101 technologies, feel no, uh, fear no more. The video series has been released. It is uploaded and available for your viewing pleasures as of this video. It actually was up about an hour ago uh, at the time of this recording, but we are in good shape from there. So what could you expect to see from this course? Well, uh, other than the little paragraph that I give you as an overview of what the course is going to be, it's 158 videos at about 46 hours. I've looked at some of the other vendors that have put out course material, and I went way farther than they did, and I did that on purpose. So the idea here with the course is um, all the other vendors that I've seen put out route material and stuff like that, they do a pretty good job of covering the technologies, but the problem that I don't, I see a lot of vendors doing is they don't have a transition into the uh, CCI level. So there's nothing that goes really into that level of detail. I I went further into the material than I normally would for a CCMP. I definitely covered more. I started t uh, tapping CCI level material, and that is the, uh, the the amount of topics that I had to hit in addition to the level of detail I had to go into. So a lot of the stuff that you're going to see in the course is broken down into the major sections of the protocols as you go through them. So I covered a lot of OSPF, covered a lot of EIGRP, covered a lot of BGP. Uh, those are your main protocols. So I went into a finite level detail on the breakdowns of how those work. And so that um, if you go through my course, you should be in pretty good shape to go sit for your route exam and go from there. I also added some stuff in like IS to IS. For those of you that um, would like to know about it, I do a very, very basic breakdown to how it works. Again, IS 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 not on the blueprint for routing and switching for CCMP, but it is on the blueprint for CCIE written. So I figured this would be a good transition uh, video here. Or there's six videos. Um, anything that's not explicitly on the blueprint is optional. So the IS to IS, the dual hub DMVPN, the MPLS VPN, the uh, multicast and the quality of service, those are technologies that are not on the blueprint that you do not have to watch. Although I would recommend watching them, it's the additional six hours of content that I put together so that all of you that are looking to have a transition from CCNP to CCIE, I'm gonna at least high level cover those technologies and put them into a, a, a very small, easy to follow along with uh, format so that you guys will be able to follow along at home. So this is everything that I've done thus far. Um, this is the route course is complete. It's like I said, it's 158 videos and uh, around 46 hours. It's like 46 hours and 20 minutes, I think is what the total time is. But 46 hours is a pretty good estimate. Of those 46, 40, ex uh, exactly 40 is, or right around 40, is what you need to actually go through if you want to be successful in your CCMP exam. The other six hours that I added on are the transition technologies. They're not listed as transition technologies because they do fit quite well in the, the layout and go from there. So that's what you guys can expect to see on the route course. The workbook at the time of this recording is in a final revision. I have to add some stuff to it um, and I will hopefully have that out sometime in the next week, um, which will be the uh, very end of April, beginning of May of 2017. And then from there, I'm going to start putting together the CCMP switch course. Um, I don't know how long that video course will be or the CCMP T-shoot. Those are still up in the air yet. And then I'm hoping to have both CCMP switch and CCMP T-shoot done sometime by either the end of May or early June. And that will put me in good shape to start knocking out the CCIE route switch course. Now, one thing I want to point out to you guys is I do not versionize or put a or attach a version to the um, the course I will give you the exam number and that might change and the reason why I did that is because well historically uh, your technologies like frame relay and PPP and rip and EIGRP OSPF BGP etc those protocols haven't changed in a very long time so there's no reason for me to go through and say okay well there's a new CCMP course coming uh, 
Cisco has updated the material. So all I will have to do is go back and whatever changes have been made to the the course as a whole, whether they remove a technology or they put a new technology in, I'll just have to do the, whatever the deltas are, whatever's been added or whatever's been removed. If it's been removed and it, it doesn't make sense to be there, I'll remove it from the course. If it's new, I will add it to the course free of charge. You guys won't have to pay again to watch it. If you've already paid for it for either the yearly or the monthly access, and I've updated it in that time frame, you'll automatically get the updates. Um, if you buy the workbook once, you've bought it forever. So if you buy a CCNA, let's say you, you go out and you buy the CCNA bundle, and then uh, CCNA comes out and say, you know, beginning of 2018, they do an update. Well, I will change the workbook, re-upload it, and you guys will be able to download the new one. So once you bought it, you, you're good to go. You never have to repurchase anything that you bought. It's a one-time download. It's, it's yours forever. Um, you'll be able to download the updates as they come out. So that's how I wanted to structure my courses so that you guys would be able to, to roll with it and all that good stuff. Beyond that, the, um, the other thing that I want to point out is I, earlier when I was starting to record the route course, I was going to use whatever content that I hadn't recorded for CCMP route for CCIE RNS. I decided not to do that pretty early on. So what I'm going to be doing is the, the CCIE route switch course. That'll be brand new content. I will be having a new topology. That is, I am, I'm working on uh, some of that stuff. The, um, the PowerPoint presentation that you see delivered throughout the route course uh, and for the switch course, that will be um, what you get for CCIE as well. I'm just going to add stuff to it and go from there. You guys can follow along at home with that, and we'll see where, which direction we take with that. For, uh, for those of you that are interested in the CCIE course, um, the CCIE stuff will be, um, I'll have actually two different topologies. I'll have uh, I'll, I'm sorry, the same topology on two different platforms. I'll have it on the CSR 1000V and in GNS3, and I will I will test stuff out in GNS3, but I'll spend the majority of my time in um, a CSR 1000V because it's actual iOS code, and it seems to respond the best. Um, I, having taken and passed the CCA route switch exam, uh, that stuff that I, that's how I uh, messed around with the technologies and stuff like that. You lose some functionality with the uh, CSR boxes, but overall, that's basically where it's where it's at. I did have some questions come in last night. I, did, I released a video yesterday on building a service provider lab. I had some questions come in, and the uh, um, I will be doing a full scale labs for RNS CCIE, not for CCNP. So you'll see that stuff come out as we go along, and uh, I will deliver that as it comes out. Um, we are going to have one topology for CCIE, um, CCMP service provider, CCNA service provider. They will be coming out in flux with CCIE route switch. And we'll see exactly how that plays out as we go along. Uh, I want to keep this video pretty short overall because the fact of, well, I don't want to waste anybody's time. Uh, there will be a link in the description if you want to go uh, purchase the route course. It's available to you now. I'm hoping that by the time everybody has made it their way through the material, that CCMP switch should be uh, almost done. And by the time you're done with switch, T-shoot should be almost done. So, And the uh, associated workbooks for those individual sections will come out as they go along. Um, I will be using a combination of viral switches in GNS3 and uh, physical switches, but um, there's not a whole lot there that I can't test out. I mean, I won't be on 15 code for the physical switches, but I will be for the viral switches, and we'll see exactly how that plays out. You guys have been awesome. Thank you so much for stopping by. Until next time, guys, take it easy, and we will catch you in the next video.